Hello and welcome my friends to another unboxing video. This will be a rather rather special video and you know that I am exciting when I unbox all my latest acquisition but this time it is an expensive fountain pen. This is the pack, it uh, just arrived to my doorstep and you must know that uh, including the shipment of this pack the value is uh, 1000 230 lays, which means that um, I paid for this fountain pen, including the shipment cost to my door, 250 euros or 294 American dollars. So I'm quite, quite excited, guys. I have here my trusted Pelican knife from Schollingen, and um, I am uh, quite, quite ready to open this large, large pack. As you can see, it is well wrapped and I, I will try to damage it as um, okay. Okay, so let me, maybe it was better to use some scissors, but I think it's okay. So yes, inside this sleeve it is another cardboard pack. And now guys, I have to remove these parts. Okay. I definitely should use some scissors but it is all right i've reached the inner pack yes guys so now we'll simply remove this okay another cardboard box okay sorry i don't want to reveal some uh, uh, information regarding the address of the sender so I will just open it through the back okay okay and from this part okay and now guys I have inside some uh, bubbles wrapping bubble paper and another box from a uh, an old old phone <laughs> uh, okay a house phone let me see now yes it is a single rep so i will try to let's see from this part maybe i'm just trying to remove this annoying uh, scotch tape Oh, but it will take a long time. So instead, I, I think I don't want to ruin this box. So maybe I will use it for further purposes. Yes. Okay, I managed to open it. And inside, it is this wrapping paper. And yes, this should be the fountain pen. Oh guys, I'm so excited. I've waited for this fountain pen for almost two months now and it is a beautiful, beautiful fountain pen. And quite well wrapped. I want to thank the seller because I think I got this at an amazing, amazing price. This is it guys. I hope you can recognize it. Yes, I have a Mont Blanc, but not a simple Mont Blanc, but a wonderful, wonderful Mont Blanc masterpiece 146 with a silver cap. And uh, this fountain pen, this beauty, uh, and let me zoom on it because <laughs> it is a great, great, great fountain pen. You can see Mont Blanc Meisterstuck on the ring. So Meisterstuck. On Blanc Meister took. It has this silver cap, and now I am searching for the um, 
imprints 9 to 5 and i think they are here 9 to 5 9 to 5 this pen has the possibility of being personalized but in this case we have no personalization this is a serious no serious number so germany and it has it has the original sticker on it so the nib size is m we open this beauty and we can see it's a uh, i couldn't say it's in an nos condition because you can see that someone has used some uh, uh, purple ink okay i want to show you the beautiful beautiful nib 18 carat m nib as you saw on the sticker and uh, guys i have uh, prepared for you some other examples to see what i've uh, got so i will uh, change for the moment the angle of the camera yes guys and i want to show you the other fountain pens from my collection so let's put the pack aside i'm not so sure of the year of the manufacturing of this fountain pen but um judging by the um, numbers that are present on it i think it's from um, at least uh, 1980s 1990s even 2000 i'm not so sure here uh, alongside with it i have a 146 from the 1950s so you can see that the 146 from the 1950s is a little bit smaller and i have also with me the pelican m800 green striped you can see it's even larger than the pelican m800 i have also in the black uh, version the same pelican m800 okay and here uh, i have a jinhao 159 that is similar in dimension with the 149 so in this case it's a little bit larger uh, longer the 159 and uh, of course it's a, a thicker than uh, this uh, model so guys this was my wonderful wonderful fountain pen acquisition and uh, i think i did all right i paid 250 euros for it or and uh, or almost 300 american dollars but uh, i think i did okay it is a wonderful wonderful piece and um for uh not such a wealthy collector like i am this is one of the um, unobtainable fountain pens because of uh, its price i'm um, curious to see if i can fit the old cap of the uh, 1950 meisters took 146 let me see no it is not compatible and i will leave you guys showing you the two beautiful names one 14 carat and the other 18 carat much more ornate the newer one than the uh, 1950s one but uh, i prefer the 1950s one uh, this has also an ink window but it's not faceted like this one of course i will identify the year of production of this fountain pen with a solid silver gold cap there is also a version that has also the body in all silver and i think that version is called solitaire and i'm not so sure this version uh, its name uh, duo card or so um, i'm uh, confusing it with parker i'm sorry but stay tuned guys because uh, in a few days i think i will uh, be able to do a review after i studied for a little bit of time and let me test if the piston is uh, functional okay it turns quite smooth a metallic piston yes you can see now that the piston and now i will retrieve it yes and you will see it's moving through the barrel guys this was my unboxing 
as always i thank you for your time i want to wish you to have a wonderful day wherever you are stay tuned to my channel and uh, subscribe to my channel to support my activity i will see you again at the next episode till then bye bye and please take care of yourselves